So let's go over some maintenance for the legs. Quite often patients will come in, it doesn't matter whether they're a runner, uh, playing certain sports, or they're just feel like they're feeling a lot of tension in their legs. They want me to release that tension working on multiple structures. So we'll show you some of the things we can do. So Mickey, why don't we start out with your quads here? Okay. Bring it up here a little bit, get it. So, hands back here, then the leg in. Right in, good. Take it right over. Excellent. And again. So just go maybe two or three times around this one. Doesn't feel too bad, eh? No, no, no. Just a bit of tension. The upper part there. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to bring the ankle in. Okay, good. Okay, more or less tension on that. That's yeah. more tension. More tension? Yeah. Bring it again. Good. Okay. Now take it out. Bring it back. Okay. Hmm. Put a tension on that too? Yeah. But it feels different though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And again. So I could apply the same concept whether I'm working on the rectus femoris right now or the muscle on the inside of the vastus intermedius or the lateral aspect of the vastus lateralis. So let's take it out this way. Good. Good. So, working on right both a little bit on the IT band, the vastus lateralis. The IT band will not lengthen at all when they do dissections and they hang about a 40 or 50 pound weight on it. Let it sit for about two or three days. It just does not get longer. You okay there? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Right out. Take a little bit there, a little bit of circumduction. You okay? <laughs> yeah, it's tender. All right. And again, okay, I'm going to get you to lie on your back, please. So probably three to five passes, depending on what I feel. And if I feel the area starts to loosen up a bit, I'm going to move on to another structure. Okay, let's move up my hamstrings a little bit here. You okay? Yeah. So, okay, you haven't done this for a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so again, getting a little bit of circumduction in there, loosening it up, and just kind of feeling where the tight areas are. You okay? Oh yeah. But you can feel that quite a bit, can't you? Yeah, way more than the quads. Yeah. Okay. So using a little bit of circumduction, depending on where we find the tension, the lateral part, biceps femoris, either getting on semi membranosus, semi tendinosus, we want to make our way around. And once we get a, a good or reasonable release there, we're going to move on to the abductors. You okay? Yes. Yes? Are you telling the truth? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it does get pretty tight there. Okay, we start getting a little bit closer here. Take this out. Get yourself a bruise there. Oh, yeah. And out. Good. Doing okay? Oh, yeah. Let's see, so, uh, yeah, right there. Let's just move a little bit into circumduction. Good. Again, take it up, take it down, and out into circumduction a little bit right there. Good. Okay, let's work our way down the leg a little bit here. Get onto tibia interior. Not too bad? No, nope, not too bad. Good. Farther down, just bring that into a little bit of... Okay, do you feel a difference there or...? Way different. Way different. Yeah. Okay. So we're down a little bit. When I was going up here yeah. and bringing it straight down, mm -hmm. how would you... What do you, what do you feel is different? Uh, mainly when it was up at the top and you're going pointing toes yeah. down, I was feeling more in my ankle. It's okay. less in the actual shin. Yeah. But when you're doing the circumduction, I definitely feel it more in the shin. Okay. I can feel it. It's almost like you're going across the muscles and you're pulling them away from the tibia. Okay. Now I can go lateral just slightly here. So let's take this leg over. Yeah. Side here. Take it up. Bring it up. Inversion. Take it in. Again, okay, again, I'm going to bring it in a little bit of circumduction there. How are we doing? Really good. Yeah. You feel that difference there, though. Big time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
take it into circumvection. Up, oh, take it into circumvection. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna have you do is gonna have you turn over face down, please. You don't have tight calves. <laughs> Not at all. I'm going to start getting a little bit of circumduction in there and it gets even worse. Oh, it's not my horse. <laughs> all right. Down. Okay. So I work on this area until I feel the release. Come up on your knees, please, all the way up so I can access the deeper structures. Yeah, more lateral on you. Here. It's pretty tight. Good. And in. Good. Okay, so two to go face down again. Just want to move up slightly. Okay, sacrum, trochanter, moving over a little bit here, more towards. Put on a little bit of a different hat here in terms of gallbladder. Feel that area right there? Yeah. Quite a bit? Yeah. Okay. So we can get that to release a bit. So, anytime we're releasing the legs, we have to take the luteal muscles in consideration. Is it okay though? Oh, yeah. Starting to let go a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, first got on there, they really tight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We get you to turn on your side towards me. Okay, we're going to turn out the SI joint to see if it needs to move. Yeah. There, bring this up here. This down here. Good. Over here. Bring this back. Perfect. Okay, let me get you to lie on your back, please. So, we always have to consider both soft tissue and osseous structures. We're working our way around, but in terms of the kinetic chain, all the way from the hip down to the foot and the ankle. And realize that we have a lot of tension in the foot, it may manifest tension farther up the kinetic chain. So, it's going to have to be around here a little bit. Pretty tight? Yeah, it is. Okay. Good. So I'm just going to go across the fiber right now. Give me a little bit of tension in there. In. In. We're also going to go up and down striations. So whether we're talking about the flexor digitorum brevis, quadratus plantae, getting really deep. Some of the other structures there. Work our way around. Again, considering osseous structures, making sure they're moving okay. Good. Down. And then considering some just lateral by in between the Achilles tendon, lateral malleolus, get on a point right here. Is that pretty tender? Oh, yeah. So, a couple points here which are really good. To get on to would be yeah, right there. So, ladder in the kidney meridian in there too. Okay? Right there. So it's interesting because when you release some of these acupuncture points with acupressure, you will find that it has effects way up the kinetic chain because in the extremities, anytime you get an acupuncture point, about 90% of the time, you will get a thickening of neurological receptors. Consequently, when you release that, you will actually affect areas which are quite far from the point you're working on. So what I've done here is I've worked on one side of the body, but I would just repeat that on the other side. So this can be very, very effective in terms of doing maintenance care. Yes, if a person has a problem, working on a particular structure is going to help release that and help them get over that whatever the issues is, but this is really effective at preventing injuries.